last time you saw this place on this channel, there was pretty much nothing done to it. The last video I did was my three-day update right after I moved to California. If you're a new viewer of mine, I relocated from Chicago, Illinois to Los Angeles. And the last video I did was just a three-day update showing you guys when I had moved all of my stuff in this space. Since then, I have painted the walls, I've painted the ceiling, I've hung up a bunch of different artwork, I've built a walk-in closet, a lot of stuff has happened. I thought for all my viewers on this channel, I would do an updated video of all the stuff that I have completed in the last couple months. Keep in mind that this place isn't finished. I still have to do my bedroom, but I thought I would show you guys everything else that has been done in this place so far and give you guys a little update. So let's just get straight into my apartment update and my walk-in closet tour. I'll start with a quick overview of my apartment and then I'll get into everything that I've done. This is if you're standing in the hallway from my room. This is what it looks like when you walk out. You see my couch and there's this chair and my TV unit. There's my dining area, the mirror, and then my kitchen to the right. I have this mirrored table by the entrance, and then I also have a little mirrored circular stand, and the stand is from Hobby Lobby, and inside it I just keep my keys. That's a fake flower candle. You can put like bulbs in it and it lights up, and I don't remember where I got that from. My mom actually got it for me, I'm sorry. And I just keep my purse there, whatever purse I'm using, and then in my um, table is where I keep like my sunglasses and everything. Normal people keep food in those, but I keep technology and beauty stuff. I kind of call it my like beauty cabinet. This is like a hoarder's dream. This is where I keep my candles and on the bottom row is all of my different lenses and my cameras and my chargers and technology and then I have hair products at the top. This is what my kitchen looks like if you're standing in the center of it. I really like the layout of this kitchen because I'm really into cooking and entertaining so this way I can be cooking and I can have people sitting at my bar stools and at my table and I can still be in the entire space. I have this like fake sparkly sponge and I guess you can actually use it as a real sponge but I just bought it as decoration because I thought it was kind of a cute little addition because it's sparkly. I also got this little sparkly soap dispenser for the sink as well and the soap dispenser is from Home Goods, and the sponge is from Sur La Tabla. So a new addition to my kitchen are these placemats and I had two of them originally. They're from Z Gallery and they always said that they were like out of stock and I was in the Z Gallery over by my apartment now and they had them back in stock so I bought two more so now I have the full placemats. I finally got my mirror wall hung up in here and this mirror is actually six mirrors and I put them all together. Each of the mirrors are from CB2. I just hung them together as a wall. I just love how much light this wall reflects. If you live in a smaller apartment or if you live in a darker apartment, mirrors are a really great trick to catch light and disperse light throughout your space so it makes it look bigger, makes it feel brighter, makes it feel airier. On the wall directly opposite from the windows and the little space between the hallway and the main door, I hung this mosaic. This is from Pier 1. It's kind of like a cracked mirror mosaic and it's got hints of gold and silver and it's just so beautiful. It also reflects the light straight off of the windows and I just think it's really, really eye-catching and cool and different. Next to my entertainment stand, I have this accent chair and this chair is from Target and I have a pillow from Home Goods that I found and I really like the kind of like filigree design on it. I thought it looked really cool with the chair pattern. In my entertainment center, if you guys saw my apartment tour from Chicago, you guys know that I like to keep this as a bar in my apartment. This is where I keep all of my glassware. Maybe my favorite new addition to this apartment is this wine and it's Chateau Saint Michel. I have Riesling and Merlot and seriously I go back and forth between being a white wine person and a red wine person but generally I'm just overall a wine person and it's always wine clock in my apartment. I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm not someone who likes to go out really at all. I'd much rather just have my friends over and have a glass of wine. So I generally have a couple of bottles in here, usually white and red. So I first got interested in this wine because they have all these really cute and clever toasts, like a toast to my wine glass, which holds what I hold dear, and all these really, really cute toasts. So when I saw those, I was like, oh my gosh, they're so clever and witty, and it's like made for my apartment. I have to get this. And then I ended up loving the wine, so that's why I have a couple of bottles of this in my bar right now. I just spent the last two minutes talking about wine 
It's fine. I actually do keep DVDs in here. Here's where I store all of my movies. And here's where I store my Law & Order SVU. I don't know if you guys are obsessed with that show. Leave me a comment down below if you're obsessed with it because it's seriously addicting. And as a housewarming present, my mom sent me a surprise box of all of the DVDs. Seriously, watching Law & Order SVU with a glass of Chateau St. Michel is like my favorite night ever. Also on my couch, I have added some new pillows. I got some new pillows from Home Goods recently, so I added those in the mix of my other pillows. You guys can also see that I painted the walls in here. The apartment just used to be that white color that the drop down was, and I painted it this light gray color, and I also painted the inset of the ceiling the same light gray. So it's definitely not a very big dramatic difference having it on the ceiling, but you can definitely see it makes the drop down stand out more. It draws a lot of attention to the ceiling and the architectural detailing in this apartment. It might sound weird looking at it on camera, but when you're actually in here, it definitely feels more warm having the ceiling painted this light gray. I'm literally laying on my couch right now to give you guys a visual of how the ceiling contrasts now with the drop down. Don't you feel warm looking at this? Come on guys, you know you're so much warmer. For the paint color, I tested a bunch of different options and I ended up going with the gray that was in my old apartment. The paint's so nice, I used it twice. It's Benjamin Moore and it's Shoreline and it is the best light gray ever. From the hallway, I've also added this table in this little area before the guest bathroom and my walk-in closet. And this used to be my vanity. I don't know if I'm gonna switch it for an actual storage unit so I can put like towels, extra linens and things in there. For now, this table works out just fine. This is what it looks like at the doorway of my second bedroom now. I have turned it into a walk-in closet and an office. You guys can see that I finally got a desk chair to go in here. I'm not using one of my kitchen tables. I got a desk chair. I have my full-length mirror in here now. To the left is the doors of the closet that is built into this place. I have clothes hanging over the door right now. From where the door opens into the closet, I left that open so I could still access the closets over here. So to use up that wall, that's where I decided to put my nail polish racks and I'm so happy with this part of the closet. And I'll link you guys down below. I did a full nail polish collection and update about these racks in case you were interested in them. This is the pack system from Ikea. You can completely design this yourself. I still need to get the shelves that go on the top there. They didn't have them when I bought this unit. I just color-coded my dresses from left to right and then I have these drawers and the drawers are from Ikea. This is a drawer unit that I got from the container store and I already had these when I moved and they fit perfectly in this unit so that's why I have these. The left set of drawers is just my purses that I use most often as well as the shoes that I wear most often so like my heels and my espadrilles and some sandals. In this set of units I have scarves, more scarves, belts, gloves, and then in those littler shelves I have swimsuits and I have some shoes. And then over that way, I have more shoes, hats, and then clutches. Down on the side under the maxi dresses is where I keep my traveling luggage, so like my camera, my work bag, as well as my duffel bag. So I keep my shorts and I have them split up by sparkly shorts. Yes, I have enough sparkly shorts, but they need their own drawer, normal shorts, and then I also have my pants and those are also all color coded. On this wall, I'm gonna put one larger unit and I'm gonna actually put all of my shoes and my boots in there, so then the closet will kind of be like a little bit of a wraparound. I just have that gray settee in there for now, but I'm going to eventually move that into my bedroom and then I have my desk and my desk is from Pottery Barn and then this chair is the Henrik Stahl chair from Ikea. Hanging on my closet doors right now are the things that I bought this weekend and I absolutely need to film a haul. Whenever I get stuff I hang it up like this to make me really really excited about what I bought so I can start mixing and matching it with different pieces. Now you guys can see that I completely redid this closet. If you watch my original tour it had different shelving and stuff and not as much hanging space and I went in the other closet in the different room and I was just moving drawers around, moving hanging bars around, so now it is a fully color-coded top closet. So it goes from white to black on top. My colors are on the bottom and it's kind of hard to see because the sun's blaring in here right now. And the bottom left-hand side are my jackets. Kind of got a color-coding fetish. Can you tell? Alright guys, that's the end of my apartment update. Once I make progress on my room, I will definitely post more of that. For now, I just wanted to show you guys actually progress that I have made in this apartment and things that have been done to it for this update. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more apartment updates as they come, make sure to follow me on Instagram. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.